So today I wanted to follow up on the battery capacity of the new uh, 4 amp hour and 8 amp hour uh, 21700 uh, cell batteries. So the uh, PAPS 204 and 208 uh, again boast the 4 or 8 amp hour capacity and I wanted to compare that with the older uh, P20B1 uh, or B3 uh, 2 amp power and 4 amp hour uh, 18650 cell batteries. So uh, just for a quick capacity test, I used this uh, MyBoxer uh, C2-4000 uh, charger and capacity tester. I've just uh, soldered on some leads here. So very crudely, I just measured across uh, one pair or one cell of each battery. So the 2 amp hour version of the uh, PP20B1, this is the newer cell battery balancing module across one cell on the 4 amp hour 21700 battery and then across one pair of cells on the 8 amp hour battery. Of course one could have gone through and tested every single cell and averaged it out but we really just want to have a quick and dirty approximation of uh, these cells and if they live up to their capacities. So after uh, measuring one cell or one pair of cells on each of these three batteries, uh, I uh, the discharge cycle uh, charges them up to 4.2 uh, volts, discharges to 3 volts, uh, and then charges them back up again and gives you the uh, milliamp hours it was able to discharge down to three volts. So uh, as far as these three batteries go, uh, they are all pretty much brand new. They probably have less than uh, five cycles on each of them. So uh, they don't uh, have any sort of usage degradation or whatever, but they should be fairly representative of uh, the class. So here you can see the uh, results. The uh, original cell balance 2 amp hour battery came at a single cell capacity of 2028 uh, milliamp hours. So really fulfilling its uh, nameplate. So that's about 101% capacity. So just 1% over the rated capacity. Uh, moving on to the 4 amp hour uh, PAPS 204, uh, the cell measured 300 and uh, 3,722 milliamp hours. So a bit below design, that is 93% of the design capacity. So about 7% under its nameplate. And moving on to the pair of cells measured on the eight amp hour version, uh, there we have 7,666 milliamp hours. So dividing that by two, we get uh, 3,833 milliamp hours per cell. Uh, that's about 96% of the uh, design specification. So 4% uh, below. Uh, not too bad. So if we average out basically the three cells we measured here, we get about 3.8 amp hours per cell, which I think is fairly close to uh, what is specified. That's 95% or just 5% uh, lower than specified. I think for the uh, sort of uh, comfort and uh, ergonomic benefits of the smaller and more dense uh, form factor, I think this is a pretty good trade-off. So yes, the capacity is a little bit lower than the specified design. I'm sure uh, the cells are uh, labeled as 4,000 amp hour cells. I doubt uh, Lidl and Parkside have a reason to lie about that. So. Uh, just a little bit uh, below spec. Uh, I'm not sure with additional charging cycles and really running these batteries if that will change. I don't think lithium ion cells really have uh, a sort of break in period where their capacity changes that much. But all in all, I think this uh, shows that the new batteries are pretty much up to snuff, even though they are a couple of percentage point below their nameplate capacity. That's fair enough with the uh, energy density and capacity of the new batteries and their uh, smaller uh, form factor that makes up more than enough for that slight uh, lower capacity compared to the old batteries. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you want to see other videos uh, that I make. And thank you for watching. Bye bye.